Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. Coming to you today in search of peace, guidance, wisdom, understanding, Spirit. What's the future hold, Spirit? What's coming towards us? What do we need to look out for? What do we need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do we all navigate for our very best and highest good? What is this shift? What is this feeling? What is this change that we <clears throat> are seeing? Spirit, Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to simply interpret and explain these messages. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is this about? Ooh, right there. And how do we handle it? All right, I'm going to cut these cards three times. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. Wow. All right, we're going to set that aside right there. Four of Pentacles in reverse devil in reverse and temperance interesting all right let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on six of swords in reverse six of swords in reverse mental bull right mental crap mental baggage stuck in the mind, swords energy, can't move on. Six of Pentacles in reverse, about being unable to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life. The lovers, relationship, significant relationship, the most significant relationship. Oh, perhaps this is your relationship with source. Tell me more about the lovers. Stuck in some mental baggage about um, the lack of prosperity or unable to create some kind of prosperity. Okay, the world in reverse says this is a blockage. It's it's it 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 is holding you here. Where is it holding you here? Right, lack of prosperity, mental baggage. Okay, so in your mind, you're all obsessing about this, and it's a blockage to to anything being different for you. The lovers. What is this? Well, it's the significant relationship between you and your source energy, whatever you have chosen to name it, okay? Source energy is your relationship to your understanding and belief system about how this world works. Life, being alive, where you go after you die, prayers, all of it, all, all of it, all of it, anything you believe, right, um, and depend upon for your understanding of life, that is in the lover's card right there. Your connection to source, the ultimate relationship, okay? All these extra cards. This, the blockage. What's the blockage? First card out. All of the mental, stuck in the mental, right? About a lack of prosperity. Seven of Swords in reverse is about breaking free from a futile mindset. What's the futile mindset? Lack mentality or fear um, of, of lack, okay? The star comes in and says your path, your purpose, your understanding, that's what you need to focus on. If you will focus your life understanding on the principle, not even the principle, if you will focus on the understanding that there is something else out there, 
I don't know what it is. That's why I'm agnostic, right? The only thing I know 100% for sure is that no one knows 100% for sure what this is all about and what happens when it's over. <clears throat> so I personally take a little bit of everything and try to make some sense out of it and I follow what I know to be true in my soul because that is my truth, that is my journey. It doesn't have to be yours, doesn't have to be anyone else's, but the truth that I know in my soul is my own personal truth. And whatever your personal truth is, that's in the star card right there, okay? Hope, faith, faith, purpose, faith in your purpose, hope in your faith that it's that it's there there is some purpose to all of this. And there is, there is purpose to it. But you have to step out of, of look, the Knight, the Knight of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> King of Wands in reverse, right? You have to step out of the flesh understanding of the way that life is supposed to be and put your head up above the clouds and look around and say, wow, there is something much, much more powerful at the source and the root of everything on both sides, right? And there's no denying that there's a good side and a bad side. I mean, there's no denying it. There, it just is. It's part of humanity. There's good side of things and there's a bad side of things. The negative and the positive, they have to coexist. The ego, self-centered, egocentric, um, lack of, lack of, lack of, um, inspiration or faith okay futile mindset futile mindset to uh, try to understand things through your human experience there is a spiritual experience that is the key to understanding and coping with the mental baggage of a lack of prosperity or the fear of a lack of prosperity. It is a blockage to the cycle of your life. It is a blockage to a new phase or a new chapter of your life. Your focus needs to be on the most significant relationship, which is with your higher power. And the star says, have hope that your faith have hope in your faith that there is purpose behind all of this because there is. The three of wands have some foresight. Have some foresight. Begin to prepare. Prepare, prepare. Why prepare? Nine of wands in reverse. So the burden isn't so overwhelming to the ten of swords in reverse. Um, there doesn't have to be endings and pain. There can be renewal as well. Um, Ten of Swords in Reverse is about an inevitable ending as well. Um, in the mind, some kind of mind energy, inevitable endings or regrowth and regeneration. Tell me more. <clears throat> oh, I should have took that card. Oh, well, tell me more about all of this, please. Okay. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. All right. So, in your mind, the grief, the despair of an inevitable ending, which is what? Well, this overwhelming doom that a lot of people are feeling, inevitable ending. But you know what? What this card also says is there, there needs to be an ending. There needs to be an ending to possibly oppression right here with the six of swords in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse. Um, perhaps the world in reverse is a brand new cycle. Maybe a new cycle is trying to start here because hmm. the old cycle was a futile mindset. Interesting. The nine of cups though, right? Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, peace, 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 peace. Five of Swords. You can't have that if you continue to hold on to a win at all costs, white knuckle grip mentality on what? What's the white knuckle grip on? Well, fear in your in your mind of being without 
And that is the root of all of the fear, right? Is that something's going to happen in the world and we're all just going to be fucked. I mean, that is the underlying tone, right? But the old things do have to die for the new things to begin. And just because there might be a new order, a new way of doing things, doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad. It's just different. And you can't really manifest peace in your life, emotional peace, if your mind is overriding it with constant fear thoughts of being without. Your significant relationship, your most important relationship, needs to be with your higher power. Not your ego, not your flesh understanding, your higher power. Lean on your understanding of the higher power and they will show you the path and the purpose. Four of Swords, come to terms with grief, sorrow, pain. Be brave, get some stability with the Four of Swords right there. Get some stability in your mind. The Four of Swords is about bringing peace to your mind. He is getting rid of the grief, the sorrow, and the pain from the four of, from the three of swords on the wall behind him. He is giving thanks. He is regirthing and strengthening. He's going to reach down, grab that fourth sword, and he's going to get up with stability in his mindset, and he is going to push forward to the page of pentacles in reverse because you can't manifest any other way. You can't manifest any other way. If your mind's not in the game, then guess what? The game is your life. Um, it's a free-for-all. Control your thoughts. You will control your reality. If your thoughts are uncontrolled, it's a damn free-for-all, and they're going everywhere and keeping you all in your, in your mind and in your human understanding of things. And these cards say, no, there is something bigger and something more powerful happening than your small human intellect can understand. Take a step up, put your head above the clouds, reconnect with your spiritual safety, and follow us, the chariot. Follow us, the Prince of Wands. Have some inspired action. Ace of Pentacles. We will show you the new way. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And we will bring you out of a state of insecurity and lack. The chariot's about putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do. What do you need to do? Put in the, the, the faith into your spirituality. Willpower. Willpower for what? Well, willpower to overcome your panicking flesh mentality. The chariot is major arcana. It's seven. It's about it's about reflecting and assessing, right? So this person has reflected and assessed, and now they are going towards what it is that they know to do. Take some inspired action to figure out where it is you're going to go, what it is you're going to do in regards to the struggle between your mind and your spirit. Very interesting. The Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunities, brand new sense of well-being. If you will do this, you will have a brand new sense of well-being to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and you can come out of a lack mentality. Interesting. Anything else you want to say about that? To the Four of Wands, right? And experience peace and contentment and stability in your life. The Ten of Wands in the center of the reading, the burden and the struggle to the tower, to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What is this whole thing revolving around? What is this baggage in your mind right here? Well, the Ten of Wands says the whole everything is a burden and a struggle to the tower because there is, there is some kind of implosion, explosion, 
Queen of Pentacles in reverse that disrupts the peace and the contentment of the family. Look, the Hierophant in reverse. Reevaluate your belief system. The Seven of Swords in reverse. And let go of a futile mentality. To the Queen of Swords, get your mind in the game. Speak some truth. Understand some truth to the lovers. And depend upon your higher power to take care of the things that are beyond your control. They will bring you peace. They will bring you contentment. They will bring you purpose and understanding. And you will be divinely guided and divinely protected. The whole world can be blowing up behind you. Go into shit. But if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are doing what it is that you came here to do, and it doesn't have to be some big theatrical presentation, doing what you came here to do really boils down to learning the lessons of the karma that has followed you into this lifetime. You are learning. We are all learning. I am learning. You're learning. Everybody's learning, supposed to be learning what it is they didn't learn last time so they don't have to go into next time still not understanding it because the lessons of, are the foundation stones of life okay we have to learn every single one of these lessons before we can learn a new lesson and once we understand all of the lessons then we can elevate. But during the understanding process, there's small elevations, right? From one lesson to another. And then there's an elevation from life cycle to life cycle. And then there's an elevation from personal understanding to deeper understanding and personal growth. So there's all kinds of leveling up. And then there's big, huge leaps where you take all of the compiled information and you level up big time. And that is the death transition, right? Into whatever is going on over there. So, all of that to say, the world can be going to shit behind you, and it's not your burden and your struggle to carry. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, all worried about upset in everything, and there may be people around you in upset over everything. To the Hierophant in reverse, Major Arcana, but you have to reevaluate some kind of a belief system that you have. What's that? Well, everything that I just talked about, right? Everything that I just talked about. The cutting loose of ties and commitments and obligations. What is that? Well, a belief system. I mean, the, the term belief system is infinite, right? In every aspect of everything, there is a belief of some sort. Why? Seven of swords in reverse, because it's a futile mindset. It produces nothing. It's low vibrational manifestation. Fear is low vibrational manifestation. And if your subconscious mind is focusing on fear, fear is what is going to be manifested into your life. It is a futile mindset. Reevaluate a belief system about some kind of jeopardy. Queen of Swords. Get your mind in the game. To the Queen of Swords, mind in the game. You see, the Queen of Swords, she controls her thoughts. That's why she's the queen, right? That's why the page doesn't really control herself. That's why it's new staticky energy, right? And as you get up to the queen, you learn to monitor and maintain your mentality because what you think about comes about. No bullshit goes past that sword of hers. No bullshit. She knows all the tricks. Get your mind in the game. To the lovers. Same lovers is right there. The significant relationship. The spiritual relationship. The most important relationship that there should be in your life is your relationship with your higher power. Knight of Cups. Come towards it. 
It's, it's making an offer to you. Take the offer. Four of Cups in reverse. Don't be emotionally apathetic. Don't think you got this because you don't. Strength in reverse. You're not strong enough. Ten of Wands. It will be an overwhelming burden. The Magician in reverse. Change the dynamics that are happening here. Instead of an inability to manifest because of the low vibrational manifestation that's happening in your, in your mind, release your potential and manifest like the Empress. The Empress is the Empress because she comes from Lesson 1 and 2. She's 3, right? Lesson 1 is the Magician. What have I been saying? What you think about comes about. Period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what ruminates in your subconscious mind is what your reality becomes. Period. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your intuition, your gut feelings, the signs and synchronicities around you, that is your source energy trying to calibrate your compass to point you in the direction of your true north all the time, every time. If you can combine these two lessons, you will be able to have any kind of life that you want for yourself. It's guaranteed success. If your intuition matches your manifestation, or if your manifestation matches your intuition, what else is there? Your intuition is always leading you in the direction of your best and highest good. So why not use your God-given gifts and abilities with your crazy, insane, psychic mind? You don't even... Everybody's psychic. I'm not the only one doing this shit. Everybody does this. I just happen to have honed mine and am in touch with mine. And mine comes from a long, deep place of a long, long time ago. And in this lifetime, I have procured it to be able to do what it is that I'm supposed to do, which is to help people understand and make sense out of what this all is. That's what I'm supposed to do. And I do it one person at a time in their own time. Be the Empress. Be the Empress. Do not let life conquer you, you conquer life. Connect to your source energy, to your higher power. Get your manifestation skills on point. Follow your freaking intuition. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What's this about? What's this about right here? What is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse about right here? The Eight of Pentacles are right on. Because you're not going to be able to manifest what it is that you need to manifest in the current state of mind that you're in. You just can't. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, th this is a uh, lack of success. It's it's out of control. It's um, um, nothing secure. Nothing. It's out of control really is what it is, out of your sense of well-being, out of control of your sense of well-being, as much as the King of Wands in reverse is about being out of control of your desires, okay? Off balance in the desires um, to the Eight of Wands in reverse. And this is what keeps you from escalating. Um, this is what keeps you holding off. This is what keeps you uh, tethered to the moon, um, there is a deep internal struggle, major arcana, that needs to be had inside of you. What is the moon about? What is the moon about? <laughs> well, um, your lack of desire, perhaps, to conquer your flesh. You know, that is the only two choices that we have in this lifetime. And it's the catalyst for everything that will happen after that. You either choose to serve your flesh or you choose to serve your soul. And there is no gray area and no other choice. There's just not. This part of this journey in this lifetime is to conquer your 
flesh dictating your future um, because it is a spiritual war. It is a spiritual war between as the devil, which is also the ego in the tarot, and light represented by the high priestess, which is your intuition, which ultimately is source energy. It's like the angel and the devil on your shoulder in the old cartoons, right? You got an angel on this side, a devil on this side. That shit's kind of real. It really is. So, whatever you believe, I, it does not matter to me what you can believe. The moon is made of green cheese, and the men on the moon are uh, the creators of humanity. Whatever you want to believe is fine by me. I don't want to hear about it, but whatever you believe is fine by me. But you got to believe something because you can't do it. Your flesh understanding will keep you repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating the same cycle of your life over and over and over again, like the world in reverse right there. Get it going on with the Empress. Judgment. It's time to make a conscious, cognitive decision about what you're going to do with yourself fool in reverse because you're being a fool right now. You are being foolish about how you are spending your time. You are being foolish about how it is that you are um, engaging in the current moment, right now, the current moment. And I say you, but I'm channeling. So really they're talking to me. Um, I hear them say you, just like you hear me say you. So I'm not saying you need to do this. They're saying you need to do this. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not you in it over here. I am you in it over here. You're being foolish right now. The fool in reverse. It's foolish. The seven of pentacles. Contemplate. Take a step back. Reevaluate the situation. See what it is that needs to be done and how it is that you need to go forward to the five of wands and the eight of cups and leave behind the emotional unfulfillment. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Where's the, what's the root of the emotional unfulfillment? The queen of wands in reverse, just like the king of wands in reverse, right? This is um, egocentric, self-centered is, is, I mean, in put in there whatever you want, right? I mean, it's a, it's wide. You can fill in egocentric and self-centered with all kinds of things. Uh, um, the queen of wands is also someone who is out of control of her motivations and her inspirations, just like the king of wands in reverse is, right? So stop being this person, ace of swords, see some truth, get your mind in the game, the sun, and follow the path towards happiness, success, and vitality in your life. See clearly, five of cups in reverse, that you need to move on from your limited understanding and step into a spiritual understanding. Ten of cups, so you can find peace. So you can find peace in your life the star and continue to understand that there is purpose to everything and that you are divinely orchestrated and divinely guided in this life if you will point your free will in the direction of something bigger and better than yourself. Eight of Swords in reverse, get a new perspective. Eight of Pentacles in reverse because it ain't working. The way you've been doing it is not working. Um, it's not. And it's only leading you to unmet expectations. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change, strength. Have the strength to identify what the issue is. Reflect and assess. The High Priestess in reverse. Um, let me think about this. To the Nine of Cups in reverse. So pushing it down. Prince of Swords in reverse, not in the game. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Okay, look, not following your intuition, not following, not being connected, being disconnected from your source energy, okay, is why you got all this. It's why you have dissatisfaction. It's why you are worried. It's why you are anxiety stricken. Um, it's why you are overwhelmed. Prince of Pentacles, um, steady, 
stable, routine, conservative. Um, you will stay like this if you continue to be like this. The Hierophant says that there is spiritual growth, though. There is spiritual growth. There is spiritual wisdom that is being asked of you um, to step up into. Um, th there is a leveling up that is happening here because you've been like going through this whole this whole fear thing here. And the Hierophant says, what is your belief system? What do you stand upon? What do you stand upon? What is your belief system? Do you believe in your flesh or do you believe in your spirituality? Because you cannot have both. And until you make a decision, there is a blockage to your growth. And with the blockage to your growth, you will continue to ruminate in your fear-based human understanding of the way that life, the world, and the future is going to be. There is a, an, an alternative perspective. And if you will tap into your deep-rooted spirituality, if you will let it out, if you will... Um, peel off the lid is what I hear. I don't know why. If you will peel off the lid, explore your power, understand how important it is that you follow your intuition and that you manifest accordingly. Um, if you will understand all of this, you will grow to the Ten of Pentacles. And you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Two of Pentacles. Make this a priority. Make what a priority? The Empress. Same exact spiel is over here. I'm not going to repeat it all. The Empress. Prioritize this and become the Empress. What are you supposed to be prioritizing? What is your homework here? Well, pay attention to what it is that you think because it becomes your reality. If you want a different reality, you have the absolute power and freedom to create a different reality. You have to believe differently. And follow your intuition. It is pointing you towards your true north. Power in reverse. You will avert disaster. Like I said back here, the whole world can be blowing up behind you. But because of your understanding and faith in the bigger picture, you know that if you are walking in the path that you are supposed to be going, and you find that out by following your intuition and paying attention to what it is you're manifesting in your life. If you are doing what it is that going in the direction that the old soul is telling you that you need to go for your best and highest good, if you're paying attention to that and not succumbing to the stupid flesh, you can avert disaster. You will be cared for. You are going to create your own reality, maybe even in the midst of insanity. You are in control and you have the power to create your own reality. And it is all rooted in faith because that faith is what talks to your subconscious. It's your soul. Your soul has been here since the beginning and it will continue way beyond this lifetime. It knows where you come from and where you're going. And it talks to you with your intuition. But the ego talks a lot louder than spirit does. The ego screams at you. Spirit nudges you because they're not going to intervene in your free will at all. They're not going to be obnoxious like the ego is. They know that you know that they're here 
And if your free will gets all obnoxious and loud and ego wants what it wants, what it wants, no matter what, and it's going to do whatever it's got to do to get it, scratching and clawing, living in a fear-based mentality, if that's what you want, then fine. Take it. But just know that it's always going to be like it's always been. And if you want something more satisfying, explore this over here just a little bit. Explore and understand that there is something bigger than you. And half of them want you to stay stagnated so you never achieve anything. And the other half of them want nothing but your best and highest good. They want you to get through this. They are your cheerleaders. Why ever, however you ended up coming here, whatever that is, these guys are your cheerleaders. And they're like, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Listen to your intuition. We're going to lead you. We're going to guide you. The star card, right? We're going to lead you. We're going to guide you. We're going to show you the path. We're going to show you the path. And then this guy shows up, right? This guy shows up. Where's that devil in reverse? I thought, I swore we had a devil in reverse in here somewhere. Huh? The ego shows up. And the ego says, no, 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 no. You want it now. You want it your way. You want it the way that you think it should be. And it just keeps you going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Princess of Pentacles, you're going to be all right. Oh, there's that devil in reverse. You're going to be all right, that Princess of Pentacles says. Temperance, you're going to be all right. Tempered, peaceful, all of your elements balanced with one another, your mind, your emotions, your desires, your sense of well-being, all of them balanced. How do you get that? The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. Release the attachment that is the restriction to your growth, which is by default toxic to your life. Release your flesh understanding, the fear mentality the inability to manifest. Release it. Four of Pentacles in reverse. And protect yourself. To the Ace of Cups. Emotional growth. Emotional growth. Emotional growth. Emotional growth. It's all about leveling up. Growth is what it's all about. All of the tarot, all of the lessons. It's about how to handle the shit that's going down so you make good decisions towards your best and highest good. And the next time the situation comes around, you build upon it because you've been there before. Been there before, been here, done this. All right, so this is what happened last time. This is what I'm going to do this time. But a lot of people don't ever recognize that. And they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and banging their head against a brick wall. You don't have to do that. Life doesn't have to be like that. Life doesn't have to be like that at all. Not at all, not at all, not at all. I hope this helps somebody. I know it sure as heck helps.